All right, so <clears throat> I should have cleared my throat before I started this. So I actually did not realize that Code 7 was actually paying out a crazy 20% consistent APR. And from what I can tell, their share in token inflation is actually spot on. So, yeah, these guys, because at first I actually thought they might have been like a scam, right? Because their story is they're going to be a real estate. They're basically going to be like, a, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know, whatever. Basically, they're a DeFi real, uh, real estate investment firm. All right, and they're going to use tomb forks to basically fund the treasury to go buy real estate because that's actually what I want to do is buy commercial real estate, you know, and then that will completely that will more or less completely solidify, you know, my wealth essentially, because as nice as cryptocurrency is, I eventually want to diversify into real estate. It also will give me, you know, unparalleled tax advantages as well. Right, you know, and then you could actually zero out your income if you want to do that. I'm not going to personally do that. I'm just going to reduce my effective tax rate with the IRS to like five, ten percent. They really complain a lot, you know, maybe fifteen percent. But at, at, but at that point, I'm going to be like, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm definitely going to fight the IRS because I'm going to be like, you know, hey, you know, you're giving all these fucking tax breaks to the defense industry, the big banks, and fucking Amazon and Google. You know, I want my effing cut too, and you know, the IRS will back down at that point. They're like. Yeah, this guy is like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever, you know, so, but, you know, that, that's something I have to worry about later, and you guys don't have to worry about it, so, anyway, I actually, I actually spent a little bit of time looking at the project a little more closely, as I'm now preparing to do the video on it, and I actually have changed my mind, so I'm definitely going to go into this, because I originally thought it was a scam, right, because, you know, people promise a lot of things, and in fact, this thing is already popping off again, actually, it's popping off because it just had a nice dip, which is good for me, because, I really want to buy up more rare finance, right? Because that's paying out 20% AP, daily APR, but this is also paying out the same thing too, right? In fact, it's paying more. And on top of that, the price is probably more stable than rare because rare right now is under a lot of pressure. So I don't mind DCAing into it, but if I know that's going to go down and this is on the way up, I'm also going to buy this, wait for the bomb on rare, and then buy that up, right? This is incredible, right? You know, I just got done bashing Phantom, but for actual legit reasons, but I'm still sticking with it because it's still a good blockchain. There's still good people on here, right? They're just getting cucked by the leadership. And the leadership, I think, is finally taking it seriously. At least I hope so, right? They haven't given up, so that's the most important thing. So that'll work. Phantom will work itself out. They're so far behind the curve, but, you know, they'll eventually catch up. So in the meantime, I'm going to, yeah. Uh, you know, I might actually, after this stream, might actually just go straight into this right after this. All right. That does mean that I will not be taking any profits because uh, normally I wait till tonight to take profit. But I think this warrants, I don't know, I'll make a decision uh, after this video or I'll wait and then I'll wait till tonight or whatever. So the first thing we have to do is, at least my initial concern was, is it legitimate? So, so far, everything's working out pretty well, right? So, there are two key points, right? Well, there's really, really only one, right? And then you'll know, we'll know the moment of truth when number seven happens. But basically, if you... An LLC can be made anonymously, but you still need actual real-life people to form this. So, if they actually form this LLC... It's still not exactly fully scam proof slash rug pull pro proof, but it'll drop that risk by a lot because there is actually people involved. You have to file paperwork and actually register with governments and stuff. So, you know, now, of course, if you're doing a shady company, you can still do it, right? That's why we have offshore companies, quote unquote. And that's what rich people and evil rich people do to hide and launder their money uh, relatively legally. But nonetheless, this is still a pretty important thing, and they haven't. I think they're. They, I think they're in the process of doing this, because I think I got that from their Twitter, right? Yeah, they. Yeah, they have a Discord and Twitter. Uh, okay. 
Uh, we use acquire property and rely on the project and we'll go back and in with the treasury, concept IQ. Yeah, this is actually something like, see, that's why in the last video, I just, I mean, I don't know if congruent video, because the last video was congruent. I don't know if YouTube's finished processing it, but basically, oh my God, are you serious? Oh man. I would have bought the shit out of this dip if I knew about this project and the high APR. I would have just done it just for the APR and go, oh, it's hitting the bottom. Okay, whatever. Holy shit. What? Uh, well, I don't know what they're referring to, but I guess it's marketing. But I mean, they went, I mean, they were up 100% from the bottom last night. So. All right. Uh, the shares are also up approximately 100%. Okay, whatever. Close enough. All right, so they're talking about the price action. What a wild ride for you. Who'd sell across? And, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, because everybody was just dumping on everything. Here's the boardroom stuff. We are now 15 hours into the boardroom opening up. Oh, so their boardroom just started, I think. Daily power across from said around 35%. Everything on, the web, everything on the website, everything is successful. Wow. Okay. Happy farming. Dex screener. Wow. Dex screener actually tweeted them out. Uh, I guess I should follow them, but oh, hey, there's a uh, magic finance. The funny doggy icons. Yada 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 yada. Okay. So what I'm really looking for is I probably actually should go into their Discord when I need to do a little more research because I want to look up the uh, where they are at with this number four. So, but I'm pretty confident because these are cheap to make, right? You know, I'm pretty confident they will do number four. Now they want the seven Dow Treasury balance to be seven hundred grand, which means they really should eventually put some kind of link up here so you could see it. Because it's not, I don't see it anywhere here. Okay, and then I don't care too much about, but other than that, I don't care about number six, because whatever that is, because this will be the big one. Then you'll know it's a legit project when number seven actually happens. But by then, this project will be uh, a little too late to buy. So that's the risk, right? So I would still be a little cautious about, you know, the story that they're selling here. But... I'm definitely willing to put in like because right now my target is to put a thousand dollars or more into each of these tomb forks, right? And then you know extract the income from that. I mean I think I think those numbers are small enough, but eventually I do want when I become a whale again, whenever that happens, I'm I'm obviously going to be putting in more than a thousand, right? Because you know let's say I had a million dollars, then a small amount of money, quote unquote, to me would be five to ten thousand. I'm not going to tell you those numbers. Until way later, right? Because at that point, you know, I'll just be a multimillionaire. You won't really know how much money I have, and I don't want you to know. All right, I just need you to know. I know what I'm talking about, and I got a lot of money. That's all you need to know. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. But yeah, so this actually looks pretty good. I'm willing to take the risk, right? But as always, what do I always say? Do not ape into anything, no matter how good it looks, unless you're really confident that it's like you know, a stable coin, right? On a major blockchain, like I just mentioned Osmosis Zone. But even then, you know, maybe don't put all your eggs in that. Maybe do beefy finance and then, you know, hold stable coins in that pool, right? So you still want to spread your risk around a little bit because at that point, the only, risk, the only problem with that would be contract risk, right? There might be some hack that completely screws it up and then everybody loses everything. And then you get, and then you lose, you just lose $20 million for good, all right? Very small chance, basically close to zero, but still great, but they still could happen. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, so I th I'm definitely going to, I'm going to have to actually break my normal rule and take profit after this, I do this video and then go into code seven. Uh, so, all right. So the first thing that I see is that the token supplies are actually very low because the big problem with a lot of bore rooms is they print way too many tokens. So yeah, they're already engaged in a smart APR system as well. And they, you're only locked in for 12 hours because the daily APR is 16.21%. 
right but you make uh and then the share pool lp pool is also pretty low but more importantly the daily apr on the base token pool is higher so not only is this a smart apr system but they actually make the board room printing very very low yeah because one of the reasons why i say partial finance is having a lot of problems is because their board room prints too many tokens so I'm still looking at it. I still see that people are doing what they should be doing, which is either buy partial or buy the partial bonds. But, you know, I don't, I mean, I know what should be done, but I don't really like telling people what to do, especially if they don't ask me for it. But, you know, partial finance is going to have a lot of debt problems, right? And I'm actually okay with that because maybe that's their intention, right? Keep the price literally at, at peg. Fine, I'm okay with that. I don't care anymore. I, I'm... I'm all invested basically nowadays in the base token pair. I don't want to deal with the shares anymore, right? I might make an exception for partial finance because that the price on partial shares is like so ridiculously like super oversold, right? But even then, you know, I still want really the base token, all right? So right off the bat, this is like, I'm going to call it like smart APR system, like 1.5 or 2.0. All right, because not only do they correctly, you know, do the my preferred reward pool distribution, right, which is overweight the token, the base token pair, but their board room deliberately prints not that many tokens. So that's why the price of code seven is like so freaking high. I also didn't understand how the hell this peg, like they need to change this slightly, but code seven is pegged one to one to phantom. So right now it's 8.45 above peg. So that is so that is technically a problem, but you know, it did just have a what the hell? <laughs> wow. So this is actually a week old project. Oh, I thought they were out for like two weeks. So they were at 627. It hyper pumps for some reason, then hyper dumps. So the Gondre Crondre FUD was perfect timing. And now it's trying to find the correct price. Okay. All right. So this is a really nutty thing. So I still would be, I don't know. I would still, I, I, yeah, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to go anyway, anyway, I, 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 whatever. I mean, if it goes down, then whatever, it goes down, right? Rare finance is already on its way down, just like gray finance, but gray finance has got zombie finance. Their domain is transferring today. So it will be out any sec, any day. Kong Finance is also coming out any day, so yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're sitting pretty. As long as you don't sell at a loss and keep taking your daily profits, you're sitting very pretty right now. Like, I'm actually doing a lot better than it was last night, but I knew it was going to come back up. I just, I'm, and I'm glad that's coming back up so fast, right, because I went to bed, did the silent prayer, right, that's Lee Peterson. I wake up and I'm like, oh, hey, you know, look all my money. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, it's going up, that is, you know, not, that, not going down. All right. It already did enough of that over uh, the weekend. So, yeah. So just be aware that this is above peg by a lot, 8.45. And just bear in mind that and it just occurred to me that rare finance is down and base finance is down because tomb is down because they're all ultimately tied to tomb and tomb is tied to phantom. And because of the phantom fud from andre Cronje. i mean what's the price of phantom right now because this is on the phantom network hey bay come on a dollar 41 okay actually i might need to refresh this page all right so it's probably up a little yeah because bitcoin's now 39 commodities are up crude oil is actually correcting a little bit because it went it, it actually hit 130 dollars a barrel at one point like last night that's way too much too fast yes yeah, so and that's a dollar 42 so yeah, things are coming back. Stock markets are doing whatever it is they're supposed to be doing. All right, we're off the lows. No, actually they're down. Yeah, go F yourself, Yahoo. Uh, bonds are being sold off, surprisingly. What's the dollar doing? Dollar is still surging. It's at, yeah, $99.07. So actually, uh, so everyone's going into cash right now. And everyone's also exiting. Yeah, the bond yields are too crazy. Like, they, people have to sell off bonds. That's what we're seeing. So I think, so, yeah, so it's pretty obvious that some of that money is actually going slowly into crypto. So I definitely can see a little bit of fear. And, and people just want cash. So 
there's about there's gonna be a big move happening pretty soon so i'm kind of curious to see what what, what that's going to be all right so we already looked at the aprs you don't need to tell me all right so i don't need to tell you anymore so it's 15 what was the boardroom yeah so basically you're getting 17 to 23 percent it's kind of fluctuating like crazy that's fine smart apr system i love it here are the charts we already looked at it too and as always, I'm now obviously I, I'm not in this project, but I'm going to end it right after this video. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna actually have to break my rule. So I'm obviously gonna go into FTM seven code. Oh, this is reversed. Oh shit. Hey, this is great. Twenty three percent AP daily APR on the base token pair and yield wolf. Yes, please. Yeah, and look, the TVL is pretty healthy too. So yeah, I'm gonna go into FTM code seven for sure. What is the gas price right now on Phantom? Ah, uh, it's okay, 500. Perfect. All right. Well, no, see, I'm actually glad that Solidly is no longer, uh, you know, raping the blockchain, right, with their crazy excessive gas fees. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. It'll be Scar of Finance. This is supposedly a project. Toon Fork that has is supposed to be like a stable coin or something like that, which of course I'm very interested in. And it's recovered, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to look like. So, all right, uh, let's see. Yeah. So again, the there are two risks uh, associated with Code Seven, right? A, it could still be some crazy, dumb, weird scam, right? Like tell a great story because this is different, and then of course they just steal millions. Uh, that's one risk, and the other risk right now is, yeah, this thing is pretty far above peg, but we just did have a pretty huge drop, as you could see, all right, Rare Finance is still dropping, but I think they are stabilizing, so that's good, uh, and then this, it could potentially drop more, but, I mean, when APR is this high, you know, I mean, I'm only going to put in probably like a hundred bucks or something, right, just start, to, just start off slow, and then, you know, well, I'll slowly DCA in and whatever it's oh man there's because my ultimate objective is to buy so much Poseidon tokens that <laughs> I don't know but I mean whatever I, I have my hand in everything essentially so all right oh and of course because this project is so new I, I think the rug pull risk is pretty low but it still has to be mentioned like this project literally launched uh let's see sometime around february 28th or march 1st so this project is basically like seven to eight days old so it's literally at the at my minimum whatever too so all right so it's actually so this actually is a very interesting thing yeah because let's say yeah because look i wouldn't uh because i know the elite discord mentioned it and i put it in my sticky notes and then i just kind of forgot about it right and then until yeah so i probably was like oh this just launched i'm gonna wait and see right so that was probably around this period right then you hyper pump hyper dump yeah this is perfect timing for me this is perfect perfect see God just tell you know, just be present with God and I'll just tell you what to do, man. I mean, you don't have to go planning excessively or you really shouldn't be planning at all. And then just don't go crazy and then, you know, just take it one day at a time. Okay. Oh look, it's got a nice oh, this is like the DSX symbol. It just spins around. <laughs> I don't know. What what's actually better? Do I want this as a thumbnail or do I want this as a thumbnail? I don't know. I really like this, but there's not a lot happening on your screen. Yeah, so I'll 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 just do this. I'll just I'll just do this. Yeah, I like this project a lot. Okay, so my my concerns are definitely much more alleviated. But again, still could be a scam. That's the only thing I because I, it's a unique situation. You're telling a story. We're gonna buy real life in real estate. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. So I'll put a little bit of money in there. I'll turn this into a thousand dollars, of course, on Yield Wolf, and then you know let it rip, right? And we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Like, subscribe, share, so uh, spread the video around so we can all get rich. And uh, yeah, because obviously, if you don't help me market, which is what I rely on all of you, then when you go into these projects, well, it's like, oh, maybe I should spread Johnson's videos around so I can help pump the price. Yeah, and you'll be helping me, right? Because you know. Help me help you kind of thing.
Thanks. Oh, yeah. And welcome to all the new viewers, too. I'm getting a lot of new people, so thanks. And uh, again, if the audio is still too low, let me know in the comment. I'll still get kind of annoyed, but at some point I'm going to stop, you know, increasing the audio game because it's going to start hurting people's ears. And I, if I see people say it's too loud and it's too low, then that means the problem is not me. The problem is you. So you got to have to adjust your volume or actually get your hearing checked out.